Hey guys, um, so I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how I run my system at home for online teaching. I know there have been many teachers out there trying to find solutions in order to get their classrooms to work the most efficiently possible. Um, what I have found is a technological, I guess you could say workaround to a lot of the issues that we're facing, uh, being able to have smooth instruction. Um, right now, Zoom is one of the online platforms that has been we've been using in order for us to uh, really communicate with our students and I wanted to see how I could make that flow effectively and so this is the solution that I came up with and so um, I want to let you guys know now is that we teachers in a very strange way have actually become gamers in a sense and so a lot of these ideas that I have I can't really take credit for because gamers have been using them for a long 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 time um, already and so when I saw a lot of the tools that they were doing through the YouTube videos that I watched personally, I was like, how can we use that in a classroom to make it super effective? And so since some of us are stuck at home or some of us are doing hybrid teaching and it seems like virtual is not gonna go away in any way, shape or form very shortly, um, I have tried to make this as simple as possible. In this video, I am not gonna be explaining how to set any of this up, um, but I will take the time to help you guys if you're interested in creating this type of setup for your classroom, whether it's by making more videos or things like that, so that you guys can have a setup that is uh, workflow friendly for what you're doing and what you're teaching at home. So this is my setup and this is how it works. All right, so uh, I got my GoPro out. I figured this is the best way I can show you what's going on without changing too much. So uh, this is how it's all gonna play through. All right, we'll start with number one. The laptop okay each one of you should have a laptop at some sort I mean considering what virtual teaching it's pretty much mandatory from now on any of our kids second for me is I have an iPad um, a tablet could work in this scenario but since I have an Apple seek ecosystem uh, this has been really really useful because it makes connecting things a whole lot easier I've been using my iPhone as well and I'll explain what that does in a minute um, on top of that, that's kind of out here on the outside, I have actually two lights to kind of help the lighting of, of the scene. Uh, helps light up my face, kids can kind of see me a little bit better. And then over here, I'm also using um, a Sony a7R II. Uh, it's one of my friend's cameras, and uh, we connect that in the back here uh, with an Elgato HD60 S Plus um, capture card. There are cheaper capture cards out there. Uh, but I also use this for church streaming services, so I got one that's a little bit better for this. Um, but this is most of the setup, and now I'm going to show you um, kind of how it all works together. So here I have open uh, a Zoom call, and in my Zoom, I'm in the background running a program called OBS. It's Open Broadcasting Software. Yes, this software is free. In fact, most of what I have here as far as software-wise, software -wise, excuse me, is actually going to be very, very inexpensive. So if you took out all the bells and whistles of what's going on up top, um, if you already have a laptop, if you already have some sort of tablet, if you have a document cam at home, if you have a webcam at home or at school or wherever it is, most of this stuff has already been provided for you and you can connect it and make it work with OBS. Now. The reason why I'm using OBS is because it is what it's called my channel switching software, I guess you could say. It allows me to create different scenes and so that students can see different things. So when I, uh, when I set up OBS, which I'm not going to show you how to do in this video, and I have it here, I can then go and say I want to show myself. If I want to show my iPad, I will touch here and whatever is written on my iPad actually gets transferred over to here. Okay. If I want to show what's going on on my second monitor, Back there I have a second monitor which I used to see. It also helps me to look at the, at the students' um, um, faces and the camera when I'm doing it. So that's why I have it kind of set up so far away. You could have it closer. But I can mirror what's going on in that screen. So even if I was to change um, my website over here. Oops, I got to be out of the Zoom call in order to do that. So if I change my website over here, okay, over here it corresponds to what's going on. But the beauty of this is I can seamlessly transition to what I want to do and what I want the kids to see very quickly and it's less of a hassle. In a classroom it works really well because it does not confine me to the front of the room. I hate standing still when I'm teaching. So if I take this with me, I can easily switch and students can follow along exactly to what's happening no matter what it is and it will change over. So as you can see, this setup may be a little bit cumbersome at first, but from what I have experienced is that once it's all set up, it works so, so smoothly. 
Um, it does take a little bit of finagling. It does take a little bit of uh, figuring out different pieces and where they go. Uh, but once I have set up my scenes, once I have set up my technology, once I've set up everything else, everything seems to flow in such a manner that I feel like I'm actually teaching in a classroom and I'm not being hindered by having to share my screen, wait for this, wait for that, wait for this. It's boom, 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 and I'm done. Again, if this is something that you're interested in, I'm trying to help out my teacher friends here in how they manage and explore this new virtual and hybrid learning. Um, let me know, I will do my best to hook you up with the resources, the websites, the downloads, and everything that you need to make this possible so that you guys can have it in your classroom. So thanks again for everything that you're doing and have a good one.